What up, guys? This is your boy DZD, aka the Drain Kang, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys for joining in today. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I can't even begin to show my appreciation for how much you guys are supporting the channel. I'm gonna jump right into the video, guys, because I got a hot one for you today. I've been asked a few questions on how I use the pad perform mode in the NPCX. I know you guys see me rocking out all the time on the pad perform mode instead of playing the keys. And the reason why I do that is because the pad perform mode makes it so easy to play nice melodies and you don't even have to worry about hitting any wrong notes. This is very good for you guys who do not know how to play the keys and it's also good for you guys that do know how to play like myself but still want to come up with some very interesting flavor and textures in your melodies. So that's what I'm going to get into with you guys. I'm going to show you my way of using the pad perform mode in the MPC. It's almost like an advanced method so that way you don't have to stick to just the chords that are given to you here. Before we do get into the video guys, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification. That way you guys can get updated every single time I post a video just like this one. So without saying too much, let's jump inside the NPC software and rock out on this pad perform mode. Let's do it. All right guys, we are back inside the NPC software. I'm gonna kind of show you how I use the pad perform mode in kind of like a little bit of an advanced way, you know, instead of just the regular way that they give it to you on uh, on the NPC. So I have this sound that's pulled up. It's a light piano. And the reason why it's so light is because what I do is, a lot of people don't know this, the button that's right here, the full level button, if you hold shift and you hit that button, it'll it'll start flashing. That means that the velocity of the pads are now half the level. It's letting you know that it's in, it's in half level instead of full level. Just just when the button is, is uh, solid, then that means that it's in full level. But then if you hold shift and hit the button and it starts blinking, now the pads are in half level, half velocity. It kind of gives you an interesting sound, so just keep that little tip in mind. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of you guys know that it gives you notes, and then you can put it in chords, and then you can put it in, in the one, three, five, seven, which gives you that last seventh note on the one, three, five. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it in notes, and the way I use it in, in a, in a kind of advanced way is I feel around until I find some notes that match. See, that way I can play notes and chords that it doesn't really give me. It gives me a one, three, five and one, three, five, seven. But I can still uh, feel my way around the pads and come up with a variation of these cards. That way I can kind of give my beats a nice little twist, a nice little different twist instead of just the main, the main chords that they give you. So let's see if we can come up with something. Let's see. That's nice. See, this is a different variation of the chords that, that, that I would normally have. So um, what I like to do is, see how I kind of strum the notes here? When I press the pads, I kind of glide my hands on the pads. To kind of give it that authentic feel. So I go back and fix the notes here. So we're gonna kind of just take these notes. I have it in, you put it in, in uh, 30 second uh, notes. That way it's just, that way you can move them in little small increments. So I just move a few after the bar. Just one beat after the bar. You know, something like that. Put these on and move a few, move a few of these off. And it kind of creates that strumming feel. Let's see. There we go, nice. And then what we can do is we can come up with a nice little melody to kind of add with this if we want. 
by just using a note. So let's do something like. All right, let's pull up the VST and find another instrument that goes well with this. It's a little bit too light. Um, let's see. Yeah, I kind of like that bell. Um, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we got all the notes highlighted. Control A, highlight all of the notes, and then we're gonna just use the arrow to kind of to move the down, move the notes down. Um, just uh, just one note, and then we're gonna. Um, that's what I do to just kind of get a, a a better feel for the melody. So right now it's playing like this. So if we move it down one. See, it gives it gives it an interest an interesting feel when you're able to move the notes down. See, that would be from an E to a D minor. Let's go with that. I kind of like the way that that sounds. Let's see if we if we bring it down a whole octave instead of just a note. So. From a higher, we're gonna go from a higher D to a lower D by holding shift and the arrow button. Oh, I like that, I like that. Let's EQ some of that bottom off. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a delay effect. Let's go to the delays. Gonna put that on there. And we're gonna kind of uh, work with the delay a little bit to kind of give it a nice little, a nice little drag and feel. That's nice, that's nice, really nice, really nice, really nice. Then we're gonna hit it with a saturation knob. To kind of give it back some of that tone. Nice, nice, that's what we're looking for. All right, let's lay down a counter melody on track three. Let's do that. I have uh, another little kind of piano sharp guitar type thing going on. You know, it's like a little piano mixed in with like a guitar. So same way we did before, I'm just gonna play kind of like a little counter melody using um, some of the notes uh, together and then by themselves. So let's see if we can just lay down something. Let's drop some drums on the track now that we got our melodies done. They're nice and clean. I love the way both of those melodies fall together. We made sure we pick some nice sounds. That way we can have some nice melodies and we can keep everything simple when the songs uh, mesh well together. So let's drop some drums.
see if we can make that fit a little better. We're gonna tune it a little bit with the semitones. So I go to program edit and then I pick the pad, which is right here, and then I use the semitones to tune it. See, this is normal, this is low. And then if I go higher, so I'm just gonna kinda tune it to fit. See, that fits uh, plus two. All right, let's do the kick. So we may have to tune that kick as well because the kick is, is a little heavy. So let's, let's see, I'm gonna keep tapping the pad and then I'm gonna keep tuning it up and down just to see when it fits. So plus three fits, let's go. Ahead of now, our um, second high hat. I'm thinking some rolls with this one. Let's see. No, let's tune it all the way down. Um, we're just gonna lightly put that in the background. Let's take the level down. It's 808 time, and let's do it. Nice 808. Let's lay that down on the track. We're gonna make the track live a little bit with a nice um, bell sound. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna kind of fill out some notes. You know, we're gonna come up with something nice. Hopefully it sounds good. If it's not, then we're gonna just take it out and scrap it. But I think I got an idea of what I wanna do. I wanna go low and then go high some kind of way. So let's see if I can do it. That sounds nice. I think it sounds nice. I'm gonna keep that in there. Really nice. Has a nice little feel that you can just kind of rock back and forth to, you know. So I like the way this came out, man. Really nice, you know. I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I hope you guys got a good understanding of what this pad perform mode can do to enhance your workflow. Instead of just sticking to the two sets of chords that they give you, all you have to do is just feel your way around the notes, use your ears, and you'll be able to come up with some very interesting textures in your melodies. If you guys found any value in this video, please hit that thumbs up button and also drop me a comment below and let me know how the pad perform works out for you and your workflow. I just want to send a quick thanks to all you guys who have went to download my sample packs, the Iconic Chords 3 sample pack and also the Dungeon Drum Kit. Thank you guys for making those sample packs a hit and you know I'll be delivering more of them to you very short. If you guys have not gotten your copy yet, make sure you head on down to my website and copy yours now. You don't want to miss out on that. The same exact sounds that you guys heard in this particular beat come from that drum kit. So make sure you cop that and have a blast with it. For those of you who have not done so yet, hit me up on Instagram at the Drink King and also follow my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Dungeon Palace Studios. I'm going to play the beat at the end of the video and I'm also going to show my screen for you guys. That way you guys can check out how the full beat came out. That does it for the video guys. Thank you again for tuning in. 
This is the kid, DZD, aka the Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.